Hello Wealthy Family and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I made it back home. I did not quit in the desert. <laughs> I persevered through but man Sedona was so amazing. I had such a great time. Arizona was amazing because we weren't just in Sedona. We were in Phoenix. We were in Campe Verde. We went to a different couple places. So it was awesome and I'm so thankful I was able to experience that but um with that being said through my travels I've realized that there's a lot of my brothers and sisters who are still stuck in the old paradigm in the old way of thinking things and this may be a sensitive subject for some people okay if so if you are sensitive or if you get triggered easily it's time to turn this off i have a couple videos like that already you know you might want to click this off right or if you know someone who likes things that get a little raunchy share this video with them but this is going to be a real talk no chaser and my video is for everyone because everyone can use knowledge and decipher, decipher information the way they need to but i am dedicating this video and the language that I'm using is geared specifically to the brothers and sisters that have the same chemical genetic compounds, the same heavily melanated chemically producing brothers and sisters. Those who draw their energy directly from melanite, directly from the sun. I am talking to you I am dedicating this video to you and it doesn't matter what label you try to classify yourself as I'm talking to your energy I'm talking to your spirit because it's time for us to wake the fuck up we are so far behind as a whole as a collective individually not so much in our little clusters not so much but as a whole we are so far behind and we are allowing ourselves to continuously get fucked over with no Vaseline and I am tired of seeing it it doesn't hurt my heart anymore but I am tired of seeing it and if I can say something if I can use my platform use my voice to say something that will help someone snap out of it then I am doing my due diligence and I'm doing it only out of love out of love because I've been there I've done that do not look at me now and see the life that I have now and don't think I've never been through the struggle I've been in religion I've been to jail I've been in abusive relationships I've been on food stamps I've had to beg on the street I've lived in my car I've done these things I've had challenges with my children I've had challenges with my spouse I've had challenges with my family I have history that is hidden there are things that I don't know about myself that I still do question myself about but I care enough about myself and about humanity to actually want to dive deeper and not just take things at face value. It's time for us as a collective to get it together. It's time for us to get our heads out of our behinds and stop constantly looking for things outside of us to save us. And it's not our own fault. It is no one's own doing. It's 100,000% based on the programming that we go through now and that our elders have gone through in the past and that our ancestors had to deal with and we're carrying all that energy around inside of our being and it's causing so much conflict and there's many people that just don't know which way to turn but the way to turn 
to deal with this conflict is in. You got to turn inwards. And you got to allow yourself to start thinking back. And you got to start speaking to your elders. As miserable as they may be. Speak to them. Ask them, why are you so freaking miserable? Why are you so miserable? Why are you so horrible? And listen to the horror stories of what they had to go through. At the hands of people that they may have trusted. People that they may have put their faith in. People that they may have really thought you have my best interest at heart. Only to find out that they were constantly stabbing them in the back. That can cause people to be very bitter. This government does not care about us. This government has never cared about our well-being. This government has constantly said for decades, for centuries, for eons, that we multiply too much. I believe we were once compared to roaches, that we won't die. That's why we have abortion clinics. And other communities have fertility clinics. That's why they put our communities with places that don't have clean water, clean food, in the undesirable places. That's why they gave mothers welfare and gave the fathers the prison system. And said, you know what? We'll buy you the food. Here's a thousand dollars in food stamps. Go spend it at the Arab store. We're not going to give you an organic food store. No, we're going to put you in the food desert. So you got to go spend it at the Arab store. Plus, you got to have a job. So those children that you have in order to get these $1,000 in food stamps, you now have to put them in crappy school systems that won't even teach them how to read, that won't teach them... Wow, I don't know if y'all can hear that. The pop song he blasting. Very fitting. <laughs> that same energy. Putting our children in systems where they can't learn to read or write. There's a reason why they don't want them to learn to read or write. And yes, I understand that we're making strides and we're getting better. But our memory is short. Stop sitting here falling for the okie doke. Once upon a time... The narrative was, we are spreading AIDS. It's us. Africa is the one that's spreading it. You African Americans. Y'all spreading it. You're carrying the disease. Where last time I checked, it was a lot of the African ancestors that taught other cultures how to be clean. How to bathe. How to farm. There's some type of misconstruement there. But again, our memory is too short. We don't want to remember things. Slavery was not that long ago. We still have people who have survived slavery. Still walking around in these streets. They just changed the name throughout the years. But the real live, get it boy, slavery... The real life racist towns, they are still alive and well. So I don't know why you would think that people from that generation now all of a sudden have your best interests at heart. Now they're going to give you beyond me. Because oh y'all want to be vegan? Or you want to eat like Ethiopians? Or you want herbs and vegetables and supplements? Okay, let's give you some of that. Let me give you some of this chemically engineered, a machine is making this beyond foolishness. Let me give you this genetically modified fruit with no seeds in it. That you can't reproduce. That's going to cause fibroids and cysts on the women. And make it seem like it's the norm. So that you all keep falling in line with it. Let's start hijack hijacking your movement. With this fake woke movement. Let's do everything we can to divide y'all. Because when y'all come together and start singing some songs or start bouncing to a beat or start listening to the rhythm of your heart, you're a force to be reckoned with. 
And that is what they are afraid of. The people that try to suppress us, and I'm not talking about a specific community. Because everybody that look like you isn't for you. All skin folk and kin folk. Okay? So although this video is dedicated to my melanin brothers and sisters, my, because everyone has melanin, but my chemically, those brothers and sisters that share the same chemical compound of melanin and melanite, although this video is dedicated to y'all, I'm still talking to those that support us. And I mean really support us, not can I pet your hair support you. Not, I have a black friend, not that. I'm talking about truly support. I'm speaking to you all as well. It's time for upliftment. It's time for us to realize we don't need anyone else. The same neighbor that you're being told to go get shot up for, to save, is the same neighbor that clutches their purse when they see you walk in through the door behind them in your door in your apartment building or the same neighbor that wouldn't give you a cup of sugar to make some water stir it in with some lemon to make some lemonade have love for humanity but love yourself enough first to stop feeling that we have to wait for others to save us we need to get the solution from somewhere else and start realizing that we are the gods and the goddesses. Every single human being that has an avatar is a direct spark from divine source. We all come from the same energetic source. From the same energetic spark. There's no one out there that is better than us. We just got to go within and remember that. It's time for us to remember that. And stop letting people treat us like dogs. Because we're not a dog. We are gods. We are goddesses. We are creators. And when we unite, we create something to be reckoned with. And they don't like that. The inorganic ones don't like that. So it's time to stall, stand proud, stand tall, say it loud. Yes, that's my James Brown. Love yourself. And stop playing booba the fool. Because we're done with that. Reach back into the archives. Reach back into those memory ranks. And remember all the detriment that has been bestowed upon you. From 2020, from 2015, from 2010, from 1990, remember it. And don't allow yourself to fall for the okie doke anymore. Okay, that's all that I have for you today, wealthy family. I love you all. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. Peace.